Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today, we're gonna make coconut flour blueberry muffin. So our coconut flour blueberry muffins are grain-free, gluten-free, and low carbs. So you can also eat this when you're in a keto diet. So each muffin is about two net carbs, something like that. So enough chit chat, let's start baking. In a separate bowl, we will combine all the dry ingredients. So let's start with our one half cup of coconut flour. Here you go. One half teaspoon baking soda, one quart baking powder, one fourth teaspoon salt, Let's mix it together. As you can see, I put our dry ingredients into our food processor. Let's combine our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. So I will add our 4 tablespoon almond milk. So I use, in this case, almond milk. So let's put it. I use almond milk because it's um, no sugar, almond no sugar, and there's no carbohydrates. It's 0% carbohydrates. So, so next, our melted butter. This is 4 and 1 half tablespoon of melted butter. This is unsalted butter. So let's just put it. Next is our 4 temperature eggs. So let's just crack. So the good thing having a food processor is to just drop it all ingredients and let the machine do the work. So that's our four room temperature eggs. Oh, sorry for that. So we add one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, so one half teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Here you go. I think we already have all our wet ingredients. So let's mix them together with the use of our KitchenAid food processor. So let's start. Let's gonna mix them together. We're looking for um, mashed potato consistency. looking good now we already I think this is like a mashed potato consistency so we will stop right there okay all right this moment we can add our one half cup of blueberries fresh blueberries I just add our blueberries. We will mix it again and then not not too long. We don't want our blueberries smashy or and that's it. Right. So let's check. Mm. This is the consistency that we were looking for, like a mashed potato. 
So my favorite part is pouring this butter into our muffin pan or baking baking pan or baking cups. I also have this cute colorful um, muffins cup or cupcakes. So let's just put some butter or oil. You can also use oil. If you can see the consistency is just right. You can smell the butter, the vanilla, the coconut flour, the apple cider vinegar. It smell delicious. I wonder what's the taste of this. One line is without a muffin cup or cupcake cupcake cup and the other one is with muffin cup or cupcake cup what do you call that so let's put it in the oven the oven is ready it's 220 degrees celsius and we will bake this about 10 to 15 minutes or until it's brown so here we go so look at that is it look delicious you know i can smell it it so smell delicious i hope you can smell it too guys so we're gonna try it yeah look at this golden brown i'm happy i'm happy you can enjoy this fresh coconut flour blueberry muffins with your favorite drinks. In my case, I love to eat it with a warm tea. Let's try this coconut flour blueberry muffins. Oh, mmm, the smell. You can see our blueberry. Let's have a bite, guys. Hmm. Wow. Yum. They taste like uh, regular blueberry muffins, but just a little bit uh, not sweet. By the way, you can, if you want a little bit sweet, you can add stevia. Hmm. Hmm. So we didn't use any any sugar. Hmm. So you can eat it right away, fresh from the oven, or you can also put it in the fridge. Or you can also bring this as a baon. I hope you enjoy this video guys and please comment down below what do you think about the ingredients. And please try this at home and let me know if you change some ingredients or you add some ingredients. I would love to hear it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Have a great day.